Hi, I'm your host, Abhilam Bhartia, and welcome to our series on tech predictions for 2021. Our next oracle is Tom Greenout, uh, developer advocate at Lightroom. Tom, first of all, welcome to the show. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Uh, before I ask you to pick up your crystal ball and tell me your predictions, can you please tell a bit about the company itself? Of course. Uh, Lightrun offers a real-time production debugger, allowing you to add logs, metrics, and traces to running production ap applications, uh, basically bypassing uh, the entire process of deploying hotfixes and uh, redeploying with new code just to add more observability into your running systems. Um, we support uh, Kubernetes, big data workers, and other uh, modern technologies, um, and help teams get to faster uh, MTTR uh, and reduce the, the um, difficulties sorry, um, of incident resolution in enterprise software teams. Perfect. Now, it's time for you to go grab your crystal ball and tell me what predictions you have for 2021. My first prediction uh, for 2021 is that shifting uh, observability to the left will become a big trend. Specifically, developers who are hard at work trying to understand what's going on inside their production systems like having tools that enable them to do, to do this as fast as possible and with as little manual work as possible. By um, giving them tools that allow uh, the developers more hands-on work in a production system, our organization will be able to break down information silos and allow for the incident resolution process to be much speedier and much more efficient. Um, we live in a world where uptime is everything, and everybody's talking about slashing MTTR and trying to make sure that the incident resolution um, is as fast as possible. And this uh, kind of shift of tooling to the developer's hands uh, can really make a make or break a company. Um, if you're trying to uh, introduce your software or introduce your tool inside um, and into a new market, uh, then one way to create great advantages for your product is by having better reliability. And by allowing your developers to resolve the incidents as fast as possible, you're allowing your uptime to significantly increase and for your uh, quality of service to increase as well. My second prediction will be that developers will now start impacting IT purchases in general. Um, previously, um, IT and operations departments were the big deciders in which tooling uh, in the IT department um, organizations buy. And as more and more companies become um, mainly software organizations or the software departments inside organizations uh, become increasingly larger, increasingly important, um, then developers are becoming profit centers and they uh, lead to more and more revenue for the company. Um, and we're seeing this already with um, tooling that enable developers to be happier and more productive, uh, significantly impacting the bottom line of or, of um, companies in general and not just software organizations. And this will increasingly become a trend in which developers will have influence on high ticket tooling purchases and not just uh, the simpler, uh, lower price tooling um, that they previously bought. My third prediction is that the new kings of software will be the generalists. And as we're seeing an explosion in complexity um, in the infrastructure that we run our services on and generally in the world of software, then um, more and more companies are offering different types of infrastructure as table stakes. And people who understand as many of the different moving pieces inside this magnificent puzzle that we call uh, the industry um, become more and more important because they can connect the dots. And more specifically, if you understand the full development lifecycle, all the way from development to production, understanding the entire flow of things in many different teams inside your organization, um, then you will become, uh, you will get more and more responsibility, get more and more ability to purchase various types of tooling and uh, generally become more important um, to the decision makers and the people who run the organization. This new um, significance of generalists inside the software, um, inside the software development profession uh, will become more and more imminent as we see more and more complicated uh, infrastructure being presented and more and more companies offering services um, to manage and configure and run the software. And people who understand all of these different portions um, will become heavily important. My fourth prediction is that codifying will grow in importance. And as we're seeing this everything as code trend continue to grow in importance, we're seeing infrastructure uh, being defined inside YAML files, and we're seeing security being codified and best practices in that realm also being more and more standardized. Then uh, we're seeing the disappearance, or at least the lack 
significantly less importance of tools uh, that are manual and require interaction with multiple GUIs. Um, and textual formats that require that give better granular control of the different properties of a running software system, uh, and more importantly, versions and rollbacks uh, become more and more important. And this all kind of stems from the same seed. We're trying to create faster operational procedures. We're trying to make sure that things are as fast as possible across collaboration between teams in, across, in, um, across departments inside the organization, and generally speaking, inside uh, the organization itself. And these um, many type of uh, very enterprise-friendly tooling um, will allow for better collaboration between teams, more efficiency, and at the end of the day, um, faster and more powerful delivery of software, and that software actually deployed in production will also have a higher level of quality um, because we are able to make sure we mitigate every single problem in uh, record time. Tom, uh, thanks for sharing these predictions with us. Uh, actually, I would love to have you back on the show in 2021, December, to just see how many of these predictions turn out to be true and just to get your predictions for the next year. Uh, thank you for your time today. Thank you very much, Lutmila. Thank you for having me again. <laughs>